it's actually input just like that the only thing is uh, this should be text so i'll put inverted commas like that like so so yeah that's what you put in there when you use file get contents to get the data the raw data that was sent here now if if you if we had sent this data as a post variable for example then we would use the we would just use the post uh, super super global or if we had sent it as get for example so let's let, let me let me come back here for example and see in the link uh, here the e.target.href there's let me go back and uh, check on it. In the link, there's a question mark here, and then there's type is equal to post, as you can see here. So all these are still available in the get variable here. You can still collect them from there, especially if you mention down here that, uh, actually, you don't even need to mention that. They are just available. So what I will do is, once we get this data, I can come here and say, okay, those get variables would have been uh, available if I had done this. Get is equal to something, something. So this would be available as a get variable here. So you wouldn't need to do this. So the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to send raw data and I don't want to use the get variable and, and or the post variable. That is, I'm just sending this data as it is as a string so here data is equal to that so now let me echo the data so i'll put this here bam so i should be able to see the link at this point so let me click and as you can see i'm getting the link right there okay that's how you send your data however the problem is uh, if you have a lot of data to send it's better you send the data in form of objects or an array so to do that uh, is simple is to just stringify the data so what i will do here i'll create a variable called uh, i'll say variable data like so and put uh, brackets like that to make it an empty object and then i will say data dot link is equal to and then i'll say link there so this is just a property I've created for data. So inside data, I've created a memory location called link, and then I've applied the link variable right there in here. So I'm creating a, an object, it's like an array. So I can say data dot, uh, data dot name, data dot whatever it is, I can, I can just keep adding stuff here, uh, and then it will increase the, uh, the array here okay so since i have that now the reason i'm doing this is for future to future proof this thing so that just in case i need to add some other items i can add them right here and everything will work as normal so instead of putting this directly here i'm going to put data but then i want to convert data into a string because i can't send an actual object i will need to send a string so i'm simply going to say data is equal to json like so now i want to use json dot stringify that's how it is uh, stringify in uh, javascript and data so i'm stringifying the data and then sending it so let's see if uh, i will get that data there so let me refresh and do that so as you can see now i've received a json object it's showing that it's an object with a memory location link and then in the link there's that so like this in this way i can send many many things because i can just keep adding memory locations here and everything will work just fine okay so that's how we send multiple data so what we want to send now is the link for example and also we want to send the the type of action that we want so data dot we're going to call it action so data.action is equal to, now what we will call this action is up to you. We're going to say like post, like that. Like post. Okay, great. Now the thing is, because we've hard-coded all these things in here, these things are hard-coded in here, 
it means we can't make our function very universal. So what I would want us to do is to be able to send very specific data in there so that this is multi-purpose. So that this data value uh, is just stringified in here and we add this elsewhere. So what I will do is remove all that. All we will do here is stringify this and then put it there. But instead, I will put, um, sorry, I'll say data over there. So we send in the data and then we stringify it. And there we go. Okay, so which means we can't, because what we are receiving here is an event from that click. So I'll change this to Ajax send like that. And then let me make another function here. So this function will be like underscore post. And then there's an event there, like so. And then I'll paste that stuff I had copied like that. And then I'll also get the prevent default. I'll remove it here and put it in here like that. So why did I move to this is because I want to do some data processing before I call this function right here so that I can have the data sent right there. So this is just for sending the particular data. So even this link is useless here. I will cut it out and put it in here. That's where it's needed. Okay, so at the end there, I will call this function to send my data. So I'll say Ajax send data, and then I'll send my object in there. So object is empty object, data link, data action, and then send that data. Great, prevent default uh, link, href target okay so everything looks great so all the functions will be eventually sending the data through one function there that's how it uh, works better and then the response will be here so that we can only have all these three functions uh, that are always there and so i'm going to change that part at the top from ajax data to to that like post bam so i want us to see that <clears throat> excuse me nothing has been broken so let me click here and i still receive the same data only that now i have another location called action and the action is like post bingo we are done so this way we can do many things like instead of liking post comment or view something whatever it is we can even change this viewful image to just appear right here Okay, so without uh, too much explanation here, let me come back to Ajax here. So we have the data that we need, we have the action, and we have the link. So at this point, I need to just check if action exists. So let me come back here and just say if data, uh, oh, once we get this, this is a string. So we have to convert it to to JSON uh, to, to an array. So I'm going to say if uh, if data is not equal to empty string. So if it's not an empty string, great. What we will do is say data um, is equal to JSON decode so since we are receiving this data we are decoding it and decode the data like so very nice so now if i uh, print the readable version of this print r like so and put that uh, full stop there so instead of echo because now it's a, it's it's an object now so now if you don't like working with objects, you can simply say JSON decode and then you put array at the beginning here, like so. So as long as you say array, it's going to turn this into an array. Or what you could do instead of this actually, you can put true here, like so. Then this becomes an array. 
instead of an object but i like to work with objects so so as you can see it's an array now it says array great but if i remove the true it's going to be an object so this is entirely up to you how you want to handle this and this is now an object great all right so now that we have an object we can do some uh, if statements so i'm going to say if uh, since it's an object we will do it this way so i want to check if it's set if it's set data uh, action right if you say data action and the same data action is equal to like underscore post so if everything here be true then it means we're in business so i will put that there like so okay so let me just try an alert here like post just so we can see that we're getting to that point so let me come back here click so fatal error call to undefined function alert oh my bad you see now i start mixing um I'm mixing a PHP with uh, JavaScript, so it should be echo here. So there we go, like post. So everything is working fine up to this point. So now let's see how to actually get the like uh, system to work. Since now we are sending data here and we're receiving data to the, to the post. Uh, let's see how we do that in the next video.